YouTube world. <laughs> Let's get off my ladders. I'm back. It's good to be back. I haven't painted for about two months, I don't think, with the house move and, and everything else that's gone on. It's taken me a long time to get to this point, to get set up again, to find everything, to, to even get motivated and be in the right headspace to paint again. So I've got a kind of a new setup, temporary setup at the moment in my kitchen and my lighting isn't quite the same as it used to be. I had really good lighting before. So I'm gonna try and adjust it later um, on computer, but the lighting might be a little bit dull. I've got this new fancy camera arm with a light attached to it, but it doesn't seem to be doing much. So we'll see how we get on. Um, I don't really know what I'm doing today, but a little while ago, well, a few years ago, my daughter gave me this um, Mother's Day card and I kept it because just the colours just really smacked me in the face. And I thought one day I'm going to do a painting based using these colours. So I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do. I have a few ideas. I can't go through my colours except to say that they're all, everyone is a mix apart from maybe two. For instance, the background, I have um, 370 PBO 353, about 50-50 in the background, which is <laughs> way out of my comfort zone. But I've also added a few drops of that orange and golden just to enrich it up. And I have also added quite a lot of pearl white. So I've, I've done that with quite a few of my colours. This one, cheapy, cheapest chips from Hobbycraft. It's quite a nice colour actually. Um, I've no idea. I think somebody used it in a, <coughs> excuse me, workshop once. I think it is opaque. So I, to desaturate that, I added one tiny drop of this to get this colour, which is, I don't know what it is, bluey, greeny, pale, anyway. But what I've tried to do is I've tried to match the colours on the cards. Um, and again, with the PBO3, Three six five. What's this one? Three five nine. I've added some lovely golden sun. So you you, you kind of get the drift. You you get the idea that I've messed around with my colours. I have a lot of colours here. Whether or not I'll use them or not, I don't know. I have my swiping tool of choice. Thin strips, paper towel, cut them to a point. I also have some chains. <laughs> what are I going to do with those? I'm not quite sure. But anyway, we have a saying in my job. On a photography shoot, when I'm art directing, wing it. I hope none of my clients are watching this but I'm going to wing it. So, obviously I'm not going to copy this. This is fluid art. I don't copy. I use things um, to give inspiration. Okay. So let's put that to one side. Put that to one side. I also um, have my cell activator and I, it's just got the move, you know, things get thrown out, things get just quickly put in a box. And all I know, it's got CA for cell activation on it. I think this might be the Aussie Flow Troll. Okay, so I'll just check you in frame and I will get going. Oh, I, I just feel 
I've got to do it just to break the spell. I've got to break the spell. Oh, I don't even know where my torch is. So I just sort of voice over here. This painting didn't go well. It's about a few days later. I couldn't find my old torch. So got this little, little one that I only use very occasionally. But can you see what's happened to the paint? And what I think happened is it leaks. So some butane gas <laughs> uh, obviously got onto the canvas and it, it really did come back to haunt me. I should have just stopped there but knowing me I just carried on so I'm going to speed this painting up because I want to get on to another one So I made some rookie mistakes. If you haven't painted for a while, it it's a little bit like riding a bike. Um, you you just forget basic stuff. Now I, I've done chain pulls before, but never incorporated it into um, a piece. You know that I've been working on. I have this idea in my head, but you can see I've just left way too much orange on the canvas. I'm dipping my chain in my cell activator there. Um, but I do like what I'm seeing. But I was, at this stage, I was just a bit worried that it was all going to sink, and it probably did a bit because I kept fiddling off camera. Um, but I think sometimes you just have to go through the motions to know what you really. Um, have to put right in your next painting so that's what I've used this for I just used it as a practice piece for my next painting I mean that bit's beautiful but I keep fiddling <laughs> having said that you know the results the dried results are okay But I'm working on here just getting some of that paint off the canvas. So round two, background's down and um, this time I didn't mess around with my paint so much. It's just literally the 50-50 of the fluorescent orange and the, I can't remember the number now, the other orange. I didn't add any other paint to it because I, I did want it to be really bright and actually the end result is not that much difference. So I, I just second time round, a lot more confident. I feel my mojo coming back. Um, and with fluid art, you know, you really do have to be assertive. There's no two ways about it. Um, it's no good being timid because I think it does show in, in your end results. Um, so laying the same colours down as previous, slightly different order. 
and I did really make sure that there wasn't a lot of orange left on the back. If you hear any background noise, it's because um, it's kind of like the school run and some very fast traffic outside. I didn't have that with my studio because it was more out in the country. Anyway, hopefully I'll have a brand new studio away from the road very soon. It's quite nice actually having a studio in the kitchen because you really are in the heart of everything. And But I will have to do more voiceovers because I can't, I can't tell everybody to be quiet in the kitchen when I'm recording. That's just not fair. So I really do love this and I just keep playing, going over bits, really working on the composition. Don't just think because it's fluid art that you pour a load of paint on the canvas and what you're given is what you get. You work with it. Look at that. Okay, so the chain pull isn't quite standing out as I'd like it to. But I can work on that next time. Beautiful effects happening. Stay tuned for the dried results. So these are the dried results. You can see the first one here and you can see the little dimples. But I got an idea to work on that with and, and, and you can say, see how all the paints, because I swiped a lot, it's it began to muddy, but the little dimples there. But I've got high hopes for this so i'm going to be working on that this one a bit brighter the background again you can see the chain pull there i'm going to be working on this one too but not in this video beautiful effects there so i'm going to do a separate video on working on top of these and really i think taking them to another level and i'm going to be using gold leaf it's always been in my attention right from the start to do that. So 